Hey everybody, it's Jochen Haydn and I'm back with the Helsin vs. Haydn campaign. This is Scenario 2. I'm playing Japan and he's playing the Allies. It's January 2nd, 1942. Okay, I grabbed the base north of Apari on the Philippines. So, <laughs> I get so worked up about these turns and I, I really need to calm down because I, I have to remind myself this is a learning campaign for me. This is my first one. Oh, great! There's the destroyers I've been missing. Oh, shoot. Well, now I know where those are at. All right. So these are the guys that have disappeared from me a long time ago. They're in the Philippines. Um, so that tells me he's trying to get into Manila or Bataan to rearm them. And we scared them off because they're out of ammo. Look at that. Okay, we got a lot of Dutch subs off of Mersing right now. Well, look at that. That's where they're at. They're going into the they're going into Bataan. Holy moly. That's where he Oh. That's smart. That's really smart. Anyway, yeah, back to this. Yeah, we got subs. Look at that. Okay, no night bombing. That's not good. Yep. I knew that was going to happen. Dang it. That's another dead. That's another dead cargo ship. Oh man, that is way dead. I hope there's no troops on that. With my luck, there probably was. K11. So he's up in here now. It appears to be unloaded. I don't really know what I had these guys doing. Man, these Dutch subs are killing me. Well, there you go. Okay, that's us landing at Terrapo. I figured, hey, if he's not going to defend it, I might as well take it, right? Oh, 16 again, they're mercing. Hey, hopefully ASW can do something to this guy. It is shallow water. There we go. Direct hit. The, the shallow water is really where these Type 95 depth charges have any chance to do anything. Definitely got some hits on there. Good. I doubt it will sink, but we definitely will scare it off. Aha! Uh -huh. It was an AKL. Okay. I don't think we need to watch this too long. This should sink pretty quick. All right. So, he did get a ship into uh, Bataan, and I'm sure it had supply on there, which isn't good for us, but we sunk it. Well, now we know we've got Dutch subs all the way between Babel and, um, and Ambon. So, that's going to make us routing... Our ships a lot more difficult here. 
Yeah, typical exploding above sub sub depth. All right, so the O20 out here in between Ambon and Babel. Subs are here, guys. We spotted enemy carriers. Oh, no. They spotted me. <laughs> Great. Well, so far it looks like we're not having weather issues today. Well, some, but we're flying. Did I forget to call that raid off? Maybe not. I did. I need to stop bombing that place already. Okay, enough bombing. I gotta remember that. I don't wanna blow it up anymore. Okay, should be a good, decent raid into Singapore this turn. Alright, the flak is still firing, but we are getting some hits here. Getting some damage. Okay. Big bombing raid on Sion. Hopefully it's enough to slow these troops down. One more turn. Yeah. Good stuff right there. Look at all these guys. Yep. Hopefully they don't move out of the hex before we attack. That's the whole goal here. Okay, got some Nels hitting this isolated Dutch unit. All right, see, that's what I really need right there is destroyed squads. And we're coming in really low. Yeah, see, we're really getting into the meat of these guys now. like what I'm seeing there. Okay, so I'm bombing Evo because he's in there and I need to make sure to put a little stank on that. So we have a Philippine Army Division and a 31st Infantry Regiment. Ooh, that's not an insignificant amount of force. Okay, bombing raid into Rangoon should be good for us. I wonder what that is. Not the kind of hits I was hoping for, but hopefully enough to disrupt. Two core there. Luchow. Let's 
Some more Sally's hitting Singapore. Decent hits. Okay, another big raid on Sion. I really want to damage these troops before they get out of the way. I gotta stop this. Okay, enough, enough. What is this? What are we attacking here? Oh, these guys. Oh, okay. Kind of wish I had. Oh, dang it. Yeah. I shouldn't have done that. That's not ideal. That was kind of a mistake. <laughs> I didn't want those guys doing that. Well, definitely not having any issues with our missions getting canceled today. Yeah, well, yeah, absolutely not. Okay, I would say a pretty decent AM phase for bombing. We got in what we needed to get in. Wow, he's got a lot of ships in there. What in the world? Thunderstorms now in Rangoon. Really affecting our, our bombing performance. Okay, here we go. This is a port strike at Batavia. Oh, kind of less than 60 kilogram bombs. Oh, yeah, Sinkawang isn't big enough. Oh, maybe it is. Never mind. Okay, we're getting what we need here. Nice. See? We're not the only people who can do port strikes in Helsin. Oh yeah, we're turning it up. Now, I get it. These are worth almost nothing. But, you know, it's still cool that we took something out. Uh, There's like, what, eight points here? I'll take it. Okay, now we're bombing up here in the hex. Oh, wow. That's a surprisingly high amount of, of casualties in mountainous terrain. Good weather. Altitude still high. All right. I'll take that. I mean, getting a, starting to get an idea of what he's got there. Whoa! Oh! Oh, we're in 
trouble, guys. That's a substantial force in EBA. Infantry Regiment, Marine Regiment, Tank Battalion. If he attacks your guys, we are in trouble. We're in trouble. That's a lot of forces there. Getting some good bombs into this. Okay, good hits on Rangoon troops. We're going to be attacking here. My sweep of Batavia coming in way late. That could have been bad. <sighs> okay, good bombing in today. Can't complain about that too much. All right, here we go. Land move phase. This is us attacking at Sion, and it looks like we trapped a fair amount of troops in here. Not all the ones I wanted to get, though. It's not ideal. Oh, we got Sion at least. Bloodless. For us, anyway. So we have Sion, and we did trap some troops in there. Not as many as I wanted, though. And this is us attacking here. This should go just fine. This unit won't be able to hold up. 72 to 1. Alright, that works for me. I can I can handle that. Damaged these guys and drew, um, blew them off the road. Man, he's looking weak in here, guys. He's looking really weak. Yeah, oh yeah. Man, we're going for it next turn. We have to. Look at this. Ten destroyed squads. Yep, next turn, we're going for it. I think we can carry the day. Alright, this is us attacking Rangoon. I don't know how this is going to go. I would love to capture this right now. I think we might? No, we didn't. Oh, he got a fort level in there, huh? Hmm. Well, we got the fort level down. If that weren't for that, I think we would have had it. Dang it. Okay. Dang it. And this is just us bombarding to keep him busy here. Alright, we grab Maroc. This is on Dutch New Guinea. Alright, this is not going to go well for us, guys. I don't think we're going to hold here at all. Look at all that he brought. Alright, I think we're going to lose this. This is not good. Alright, let's just run it. Man, that's a lot of that's a lot of force. Dang it! Dang it! 
Look at that. Oh, crap. This is not good. This is a huge amount of troops that he brought in. Oh, shoot, guys. This is really bad. Dang it. Look at, look at this. This is a huge force in Eba. Both tank battalions are there too. Dang it. Shoot, I was worried about that. It, <sighs> that's not good. The Philippines just got way more complicated now. Guess that's the risk you take when you go in too light on Luzon. I mean, the Allies just have so many troops there. They're not all that great, but some of them are okay. And now you have to deal with that. It's not a great turn. I don't think so. Oh, man, this turn was yucky. I did not like this one. Let's look at this mess. Aircraft losses today, not particularly good. Two Jakes and a bunch of other miscellaneous aircraft loss today. Looks like one Sally shot down, presumably over uh, Singapore. He only lost two PBY-5s. So, out of that, we have two KIA pilots today. <sighs> okay, ship sunk. Not the best day for us we lost an ak that was down there monado i'll show you that later we did take out a uh an am near singapore there's it's saying we took out the 016 and i don't believe it we damaged it there's no way that this thing sunk and in the montanas uh that was coming out of the philippines this is the one that snuck into Bataan. Uh, i have to assume that he you know Got supply in there with that. I don't know how he got by me, but he did. Army lost points for this turn. Not so great. We took seven. He took 42, but I don't want to take any right now. These were lost basically all at Eba. For the turn, we still managed to claw our way up 126 more points. And slowly chipping away at this win ratio. I really think next turn, I, I thought we'd have it this turn, but I guess not. Next turn, we will flip this. No question about it. Looking at Combat Reporter. Uh, this was this surface engagement with some ships that I have over here near Baton. We took out that AKL we saw. This is where we hit the 016. That should drive it away. We ran into the 020 out here um, near Babel, but we were able to fight it off. We ran, okay, <laughs> yeah, this is a big, this is a big yucky thing. Uh, these are the two destroyers that destroyed my convoy near the home islands about a week ago. We've been looking for them, and they somehow snuck by all kinds of naval search, and now are in the Philippines. Fortunately, they did not engage here because they were out of ammunition, or else they would have fought. And then here, uh, near Malukas, is where we lost this, this 4.8K. They're not particularly good, the Gozins are not that great at AK, so it's not a huge loss. I would prefer not to lose him at all, but now I know he's got him blockading this area. I kind of knew that already, but it's just so hard to get in and out of here now. And then that was really nothing. On the ground, uh, Singapore, the bombardment looks good. Okay, we got 10 squads destroyed here, which means these guys are down to their last, last little glimpse of hope. So I think tomorrow we are going to attack. But we'll talk more about that in a minute. Sion. We took this today with basically no casualties at all. And this is a big win for me. Sion is an important base right now in China. And now we own it on 
January 2nd, January 3rd. I don't think that's bad at all. So, good on me. I guess. I wish we could have trapped more troops in here. A lot got out. So, we got... We damaged what we could, but we didn't kill everything we could have killed. Rangoon was a little disappointing. I thought we would take it this turn. But we did inflict some good casualties on him. We took out their fortification level. So I feel like if we hit it again tomorrow, we'll have a lot more success. We took Morak. Eva, this was a not a good day. Uh, and I kind of thought this was coming. I didn't think it'd be as extreme as it was. He sent almost a thousand AV worth at me. This is a substantial amount of troops. And honestly, this whole grouping of troops is probably enough to push us all the way and bottle us into Manila. So I'm a little concerned here that we're going to end up with the reverse Clark Field situation where instead of us attacking him, he's going to attack us and trap us in Manila. I don't have a lot of troops on Luzon. I just underestimated his aggressiveness. Additionally, I think it was a mistake for me to go into Iba. I just thought he would stay in Clark. But it is a risk when you go in that light, right? And we paid for it today. These are a lot of casualties here. We did have a good little attack here uh, on the Anking Road. We drove this enemy core off, which is fine with me. And that was nothing. Air today, uh, not particularly anything noteworthy. Only thing I think would be good here is that um, it, uh, most of our missions flew, which is good, right? We did get a port strike on Batavia. We sank a lot of these little 1.0 AMCs. The game isn't really registering it yet, but they will because we obliterated a number of them. These are worth almost nothing, like one point, but every little bit counts, and it's just a little sign of life from us that we're still alive over here, right? So he's not the only person that can port strike. Uh, let's see here. What else did we do? Poor Moresby. We shouldn't have hit it, but we did again, so I think we really need to be done with that. At Singapore, we did get some more hits on the base. So he won't get that fortification built back in time. No way. Sigint, nothing particularly important here. Cheetah and Under Han are out here in, um, what is this, Mongolia. So I don't really know what's going on here. I don't think it's anything I need to be overly concerned with at this time. I don't really know why we keep getting Sigan out there. I don't know what he's even moving. And then we also have at Sindh, out here in India near Karachi, there is some sort of detection level there. There's something moving there. But that's completely not surprising because any reinforcements that come in from Aden are going to come into Karachi and they'll be railing through here. So that's not really anything to to be overly concerned about at this time. Op support, we did get another naval guard unit at Saipan. So if you take a look at that, we can take this unit and actually rebuild it. And we have a full naval guard unit, although it does appear to be rather under strength. So we'll turn on replacements to build this thing back up. I don't know why it comes in like this, but it's only at 83% strength that we can build it back. Let's see here. Damaged. This is where we lost two... Jakes T Chioda one. I don't know why we lost two Jakes on Chioda one. I believe Chioda one is over here. So there's our two Jakes that we lost. I don't really know why we lost them. Uh, I don't know. I know the ASW ratings aren't particularly good. That maybe that was it, but at least we didn't lose the pilots. The, the aircraft were just damaged on landing. And we are actually spotting stuff, so that's good too. And then the Japanese tab, it looks like our days of eight bases a turn are probably coming to an end here. We did capture Sion, which is probably really important for us. We grabbed the base uh, north of Luzon, and then we got Morocco. All right, let's go ahead and go around the map here. Starting in China. 
Um, I would say mostly good. Sion capturing that is an important base, right? So we're going to start building this thing up quite a bit. And if you take a look at what we captured here, the base is almost fully intact. And that's a good thing, right? Resources are barely touched. Light industry is barely touched. Heavy industry is only got one point of damage. So this is actually not bad at all. I like it. So, and it looks like he was working on building up the airfield from the start. You see that airfield expanding 71%. Well, we just basically inherited uh, whatever he was working on before we left. So thanks for building the base for us, I guess. <laughs> we'll keep building it up ourselves here. Uh, get this up to a size, at least a size four, so we can use it on our operations in this part of the map. Additionally, uh, a couple things I want to point out here. We got these troops into here. So next turn, we're going to go ahead and do a shock attack. Uh, our units are really crappy, but, it, but we're facing basically a war area, a headquarters. So they have nothing. They're never going to stop this. So I would like to eliminate this unit once and for all because all they're doing is blocking my supply lines. He did move another unit into Nanyang, but this unit is probably going to be a core that we previously defeated that came out of this hex. It's going to be severely damaged, so I'll probably have the 27th RGC go to shock attack here and try to dislodge it as, as again. My guess is it's going to try to retreat this way if we don't kill it outright. But if we don't take it this turn, I got a, a infantry regiment coming into the turn into the hex next turn to assist. So we have three units in this hex moving across to form up with these guys which are badly damaged so what I really want to do is get some more reinforcements up here ASAP and press across um, into this hex and continue the attack because it is clear terrain so we we can do really good here a, a good shock, shock attack with all these forces over 2000 AV I think um, I think we could dislodge these guys and continue driving quickly towards Lanchow and force him to really have to split his forces up to defend the fuel. On top of that, uh, we do see some movement here. I don't know if you can see it on your map, but we do see that there is some units moving out of this hex in the direction of this one here and this here. I don't really know why he's going in that direction unless he's trying to go into here. See that? That could be a possibility. But this terrain is extremely rough. It will take him weeks to make that to make that trek. And we'll have units holding that hex down in the meantime. A little further south, we see this unit moving into this hex here. I'm not overly concerned about it. But we do need these guys to kind of skedaddle and get up the road a little bit quicker. Because if he comes across here too quickly... He could engage these guys. So I will bomb these guys next turn to slow them down. Because when they come across, it would be a shock attack. If these guys are still in the way when they get there. Which would not be good. Uh, and do I have anything else I could possibly send up there to block that? At the moment, I don't think I do. Yeah. What's moving here? Hmm. I think we should be a little more careful here. Anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll figure this out. I'll figure this out. Okay. Uh, I think that's it for China. Nothing else is really happening down here right now. Okay, in Burma. Uh, our reinforcements are still a couple turns away here. Second RTA comes in next turn. And we know he's got a bunch of beat up units here. My armor is going to attack again next turn. And hopefully we can take these guys out. And then I'll own Rangoon. Again, we'll we'll proceed it with a lot of bombing just to make sure that we uh, soften it up really nice. Okay. In Singapore, I think we're going to go ahead and go for it again next turn. I do want to attack. I think we're softened him up as good as we're going to get it. I wish that my fatigue levels were a bit lower. They're kind of high. So I'm wondering if 5th Division should sit this one out. But then again, I don't. maybe they shouldn't because I really need to uh, eliminate 
uh, Singapore. I need this base. So I don't know if I want to wait. I think I'm just going to throw them in and hope for the best. Again, we have high fatigue. But we also do have a fresh division here with 38th. We'll hit it with bombers. I think we can carry the day. We have too much AV for him not to. He's got one. He's got size one forts left. And 300 and some odd AV versus our almost 3,000. It's almost 10 to 1 troops. We should be able to take Singapore next turn. All right. Um, we'll start down at Mindanao first because that's looking a little bit better. Uh, we are moving into Malay Bale, And I believe the 21st Division should be able to carry the day without much hassle at all. It shouldn't be a big problem to take that base out. Ooh, how much assault value do we need in there? 20. Hmm, okay. It's kind of running out of troops around here right now. I need to get smaller units for garrisons and bigger ones out of here. Because some of these garrison requirements are going to be an issue here coming up soon. But anyway, yeah. And one more turn will be in Cagayan. And two turns we can attack. And I should be able to use the bombers from Monado to uh, to soften them up a little bit before we go in. It is good terrain, but a lot of those troops are damaged, so I think we can we should be able to neutralize these guys pretty good. Okay, next turn we take Palopo, put these guys on deliberate, and after that, we should not have any issues of neutralizing these two units out here. I want to get these guys knocked out so we basically uh, control Celebus without any additional troops on it. And these guys are almost dead. I'm going to send the bombers out to one more turn to, to loosen them up. And they'll probably just die on the vine. Otherwise, uh, we're just kind of holding and waiting in the Dutch East Indies over here for things to kind of line up and fall back into place. Okay, we landed at Terap Terapo, so we'll take that next turn. And that will leave us with just these two dot bases and these three bases on uh, New Guinea. Uh, okay. I guess it's no secret at this point where Okito Butai is at. He finally has wised up and has decided to fly... Um, uh, some sort of search, naval search out of out of New Zealand. I didn't think he ever would, but he finally found us. So let's see how far is that. That's about twelve hexes away from there. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, I guess it's no secret here that we're going to go back to Australia and do a little more damage. Uh, but I don't like that he knows where we're at, and we can also see that he's got a sub chasing us now. So that sub's going to continue moving this way to try to cut us off. I'm not overly concerned about this at U.S. sub. It does have Mark 14 torpedoes, which are pretty bad. Uh, I think we can outrun it, but definitely keep that, keep that in mind. I don't really see any other activity out here based on what our seaplanes can see. Weird activity... Um, at Pearl, though, I don't really understand what this is about. Because you can see he's got a lot of ships just sitting in port. I don't know what, why they are. And if, okay, that's detected, that's detected. Only some of our subs are detected. Okay, that's detected. Okay. All right, well, okay, some of our subs are detected now. Finally. Looking up here in the Aleutians, I don't see any activity here. So I just want to kind of close with some lessons learned here for this turn. Things that I wish I hadn't done. And it's basically going to be here in the Philippines. Uh, lesson one, I should not have extended to cabin to uh, Lingayan and Iba. Because I used single regiments and I underestimated him wanting to come out of this base. And he did. And he came out very strong. And this is a very dangerous... Uh, collection of troops and they could ravage all through Luzon and push us in the Manila. I came in very light here, but I think it's too late for me to fix it. I just need to ride this out. I think we can hold Manila without any huge issue. So I think at this point we're going to collapse 
into Manila and just wait it out and let him burn up his supply. The other lesson learned here is that these destroyers went all the way from here to here and then up and they completely went through this naval search arc that I, well, let me see. This naval search arc. They drove right through the whole thing and we never spotted them. And that's very frustrating to me. I've had these guys here for days and they just did not spot those guys. So I don't know what to do here to secure this route. He could just drive on through here whenever he wants, except to put blockade, uh, a blockade here. So I've got four, five destroyers and a light cruiser here. I'm hoping next turn we can catch this guy and keep him from getting back in here. Getting out. I want these two destroyers destroyed. I'm worried though that we might actually lose our destroyers doing it. So we'll have to wait and see how that goes. Hopefully the, the, the qualitative superiority of our destroyers will carry the day. But we will blockade this hex. Let's see. Ah, man, he could even get out this way. Man. He can get out this way, that way, or that way. I almost need three sets of destroyers to cover all of this to make sure we stop them. <sighs> Man, I'm in a pickle. I, it's undercommitted, bottom line. I undercommitted on Luzon, and now I'm paying the price. And now he's getting ships into here. It's just a pain. <laughs> uh, watch Luzon, guys. It's going to get spicy here for the next couple weeks, I think, while these troops go on a rampage. I would love it if they turn around and go back into Clark, but I don't. I think that's wishful thinking. He knows he's got a powerful force here and not much in his way, so he may try to go all the way to Apari, and he knows that there's not much we're going to be able to do to stop it. So I screwed up. Catch you guys later.